hey guys welcome back to my channel for tutorials so guys today i'll teach you how to create new style of particle logo animation with using trap coat plugin guys it's really simple and best tutorial for beginners so now guys i teach you how i create this type of beautiful animation so guys now go to on here that's my new composition check guys composition name take anything and duration 10 second is good for me so press ok yeah so go to our project and right click import and import file guys import your logo see guys that's my logo so select this one instagram logo and drag and drop on main com like this right that's my png format file okay so guys now i change scale size so guys select your logo and little bit change scale size like a 75 percent is good and guys now go to on switch layer and see guys that's my 3d and 3d check yes so guys now i change little bit rotate logo so right click and guys this time i take camera and guys presets 50 mm is good yeah and next one i take null object okay so guys select a camera and connect to null object one like this and guys select your null and create same 3d and guys go to on here that's my transform see guys that's my orientation guys orientation i like feet 20 yes and guys zero and lastly 330 check yes and see guys that's my rotation rotation change like uh, 63 is good yeah see guys that's my rotation effect rotation okay so guys next one i take new solid layer for background like a bg and guys press ok so guys go to down go to on effect and preset and type ramp select gradient ramp apply on background so guys see that's my culture go to on down like this yes and guys see that's my ramp to change this one okay so guys i change end color like a black and guys see that's my start color i take red dark red okay so guys go to on here and increase scaling yes that's it guys see that's my background okay so now guys all is good and hide your logo and guys this time i take new solid layer for particle like a particles and press ok yes so guys go to on effect and preset and go to on trap coat and use particular this one yeah and increase frame like this that's my particle okay so guys go to on emitter and see guys that's my emitter type i use layer and go to on emitter this one layer emitter to select logo insta logo this one yeah right okay so guys now i increase particle so guys go to on zero frame particle i like zero and press animation key and go to like a three second and particle count four and five times zero four five times zero enter yes see guys that's my particle okay so guys velocity i like zero velocity zero and see guys that's my emitter size z and i like this time 10 is good yes much better see guys that's my insta logo okay so guys now go to on here particle and feather i like zero and see guys that's my scale size guys scale size i like one enter yes that's it guys okay so guys now this time i apply glow effect on particle layer and ramp glow apply to on particle layer and threshold 100 and radius 100 yes and guys duplicate this glow so press ctrl d and guys radius this time i like 300 and intensity 0.5 is good yeah that's it guys see guys that's my simple first particle effect and preview check yeah that's my preview right okay so guys now this time i apply second particle effect so stop and guys i create new solid layer so solid layer check like a particle and aux aux yeah and press ok so guys go to down 
on this one. Okay, so guys, select your particle and same and apply particular like this. Yes, so guys, see that's my emitter. So emitter count this time particle like a 5000, simple 5000. And guys, go to one emitter type. I use layer and see guys, that's my here layer emitter use logo and guys click on here like this yeah okay so guys velocity i increase like a 600 is good yes that's my second particle effect okay so guys now go to on here particle and particle this one that's my lifetime second like a two and feather same zero and guys see that's my size size i like two is good for me yeah all is good right see that's my beautiful simple particles okay so guys next one go to on physics and air and guys see that's my turbulence check okay so guys see that's my first one this that's my spin amplitude so i like 100 yes and see guys that's my effect size i like this time 15 and effect position i like 100 enter yes and guys go to back and play that's my simple particles okay so guys now go to on off system master check and emit to use continuously yeah so stop and guys see that's my here guys particle seconds that's my number of counts particle like a 1000 enter yeah and guys see that's my life second i like one enter feather guys feather i like zero and see guys that's my size i like 0 0.5 enter yes see guys that's my beautiful particles right and guys now go to on color guys color from in i take 100 percent yeah beautiful right okay so guys lastly I apply glow effect on particle too. So apply glow, simple drag and drop. Yes. See guys, that's my beautiful particles. And now guys go to on here and this one, that's my uncheck. Yes. Okay. See guys, that's my second particle effect is finished. And now guys, third one. So guys select your particle ops and press control D duplicate and go to on up like a particle ox too enter yes guys now i change this time delete glow i don't like glow on particle ox 2 so guys go to on animator and see guys that's my velocity velocity i like only 10 and guys see that's my second particle see guys that's my second particle right okay so guys now go to on here physics and guys see that's my spin amplitude double like a 200 is good and press ok and guys go to on here aux and see guys that's my life change like a 0 0.5 is good that's it guys right that's my final particle effect and guys uncheck and guys see that's my final effect so guys preview preview check yes right that's my final work okay so guys now this time i apply optical flare light for beautiful composition so guys for fast preview you can change auto like a uh, half is good and guys now go to on increase frame like this and guys i take new solid layer like a light and press ok yes and go to on up like this okay so guys now this time i apply optical flare optical flare and press option check and guys see that's my presets guys you can apply any presets light but i like this one golden sun select and press ok yeah and guys apply to on mid like this yes and little bit increase brightness like a 120 is good actually 125 enter and change mode guys mode i like add yes beautiful right 
See guys, the ads are beautiful lighting. And guys, you can use full resolution for better preview. Yes, the ads are beautiful particles. Okay, so guys, little bit up this optical flare. And now, guys, lastly, I take fit 200% check. And one more time, guys, I take light too. So, guys, new solid layer and solid layer check like a light to enter. So, guys, go to down like this. Yes. And, guys, go to an effect and apply optical flare and option check. And, guys, presets change like this, this one, and press OK. So, guys, go to on here, check and go to on mid like this and now guys i change optical flare brightness animation so guys brightness like a 40 and 40 check on four second and guys go, go to on like a one second actually two second is good two second and brightness i like zero yes and guys go to back and i change mode use add and press and pre and preview check yes see guys that's my simple background light and guys click on here yes beautiful guys see that's my final work it's looking really beautiful okay so guys go to on seven second and press n yes and guys now you can lastly apply only text so guys go to on text and text check and apply your text like a logo logo animation enter and guys go to on alignment alignment check and guys click on here so guys center pivot mate and go to down like this and guys alignment yes okay so guys now duplicate press ctrl d and go to down and type your second letter like a subscribe on part two, yes, enter heels, yes. See, guys, that's my second typography and alignment, alignment check, yes, much better. So, guys, select your this one and mate, select and mate, yes. Okay, so guys, go to on four second and select both layer and press T and that's my position check and now guys go to like a four second and position zero yes that's it guys and guys select your keys and press F9 that's it and guys go to on preview preview check yeah right see guys that's my simple typography okay so guys all is good my final work is finished and guys preview check guys take little bit time for preview because that's my heavy effect okay so guys that's it my final work is finished so if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you